Perth Children's Hospital has vowed to investigate after a sick child was discharged hours before he was found to be battling a life-threatening infection. Peter Drury says her two-year-old son could have died and she wants an apology. When little Rex Drury was rushed to Perth Children's Hospital by ambulance last week, his mother thought he'd received the best possible care. But what happened next has left her in shock. I was so angry, I was frightened. Um, you know, he's my, my little boy. The two-year-old was in pain, had a fever and had even passed out. Doctors didn't know why, so Rex was admitted and given an IV while tests were run. They still didn't have answers when the next day Peter Drury was told her son was being sent home. I said, my son's still very sick and she said there's a difference between being doctor sick or being mum sick. Less than four hours later, the hospital called to say Rex had to come back immediately. Despite being fully vaccinated, he'd contracted a life-threatening condition called Staphylococcus pneumoniae, which can cause meningitis. We could have had a fatality. But that wasn't the end of it. Peter Drury says when they returned to the hospital, they waited another six hours in emergency. Numerous attempts were made to give Rex a new IV, but they were unsuccessful and his veins collapsed. She says when they were finally admitted at 4am the following morning, the room they were given was dirty. In a statement, the hospital said it's sorry to hear about the family's experience and will thoroughly investigate the issues raised. Had they not called us to come back to the hospital, I still feel sick thinking about what I could have woken up to the next morning. Tegan Sapwell, Nine News.